Shot Video Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this video I'm just going to show you how you can use layer comps as well as linked smart objects and video timelines, combine them all together to create some interesting designs. Anyway, first thing to do is actually create this file, a PSB file I'm going to create with layer comps and I'm going to create some layers first, that's the key thing. Just so, just going to go to layers. One thing unfortunately is option is you can never actually create four layers other than just by quickly creating new new layer and new new layer and I'm just going to create a final one it would be nice if there was a times four kind of thing I want four new layers empty layers anyway so there's the actual four layers now what I would also add to them brushes brush strokes now the brushes I'm going to be using are arrow brushes these ones are graphic extras ones but of course you could use custom shapes or anything else like that patterns other designs so I'm just going to select some designs. I'm going to one of them, one or two of them. I'm going to change the color a bit so it's exactly the same. So I'm going to go to the first layer, add that there. I'm going to go to the second layer, and I'm going to add another design. Just get that one there. And I change the color for that one. So I'm just going to go for a lighter blue, a bit smaller as well. So got that. Go to the next one. Next layer, let's do a design there. I'm gonna maybe make that red, pink. Okay, and the final layer there. Now, once I've actually done that, just gonna select that one. Right, so now all the layers, I've got those. Now what I want now is layer comps. So if you can't actually see the layer comps, you need to go to Window, Layer Comps over here. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to... First comp is going to be the one with... So I'm just going to remove all those, make them not visible in the layers. So Layers, and now I'm just going to go over to New Layer Comp. And what you're going to do, Apply to Layers Visibility. That's the key thing here. Not going to worry about position or appearance. I'm just going to go for Visibility. It's definitely on, so that needs to be on. So that's been stored as a layer comp. I'm just going to go over there, create a new layer comp. And this one's going to have the layer 2 in it. So that one's there. I'm going to deselect that again. Now select that one, create another layer comp for that. And select the last one, the last layer, and create another layer comp. So, right, so all that information is now stored. Just update that, just make certain, so you can just quickly check, make certain, if you just go click now, go through this, you can actually see those visibility settings will be changed. So, you can just see, yep, you can just go through those, and you can see they're all okay. Now, what I want to do is actually use that as a linked file, so I need to save that PSP file. So I'm just going to save it, save as, large document file, save as a layer 1 PSP, okay, right, now it's been saved, I'm just going to go to another document now, now this is going to be a document with a video timeline, and I'm going to have four objects with these smart objects, as I'm going to place them, so I'm just going to go to place, place linked, and do, go and select that file, place, it's a large document format file. Now it's placed there. I just want to just drag it over a bit there. And I'm going to do the same again. Place linked, that's the key thing. Select, place. I'll just go over there. Right, just move that down. Okay and place link. Now, one thing I could actually do to actually make that a bit better, I'm actually going to remove, I've got here, I've actually got a background, so I'm just going to remove that. That's a, probably a good thing to actually see. So you can actually see it a little bit better. So I'm just going to remove that background. It's still the same thing, so I'm just going to save that file again. So I'll just quickly save that. So now, you can actually see it's updated straight away. So actually go over, you can actually see the underline. So I'm just going to quickly again continue that, place linked. Select that. Okay, move that over there. And okay, final one. And now this is going to be for the fourth one. So place linked. Layer P. 
USB. Okay. Now, of course, could have duplicated the passes objects as well. But anyway. okay. So all now layers there. So now what I can do is actually I can go over here and I can create a video timeline. So for that, actually, what I'm going to do, I'm actually just going to just show you, you can actually change those. This is the one thing also with these layer linked smart objects, you can actually modify the comp settings. I'm just going to go up to that one and layer comp one, and you see that changes. Go to that one, I'm actually going to go for layer comp two. That goes back, obviously if you go back to the other one there, you can actually see those still there. And now I can actually select that one and again go for layer three. Right. So I've actually got those, and of course I can resize those. I'm going to do this all before, and I want to actually do it when I'm actually creating the video timeline, because you then make a slight, it's best to actually get it all pre-prepared first. So just do that. Again, go up there, make it a bit smaller. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to apply transformations. I'm going to do a few transformations beforehand, and then do the transformation in the video timeline. So I'm just going to quickly flip that one, transform, and flip horizontal, and likewise that one I want to flip horizontal. So transform, flip horizontal. So they go in a different direction. Now, create video timeline for all those things. You can see now you've got a timeline. Doesn't matter too much about the actual length of the film, but uh, video. So once you've done that, now I'll just go down here. You can actually got transform. That's what I want. So click that that little stopwatch. On those layers again transform click that again go down to the layer and click that one right so they've all now got a little stopwatch against the transform and what that means is basically when I just go now I'm gonna go all the way to the end just gonna go all the way to the end there and instead of actually having them there I'm just gonna select all of those layers and because it's transformed, includes position as well as rotation and scaling. So I move them all the way down to that end. Okay, now just deselect that. And what I want to do is actually I want to say that one. I'm just going to go for transform, flip horizontal, and that one transform. Of course, there's a number of other ones you could do rotate and all other things. So I might do that one as well in a sec. So I'm just going to go there and just down there and just go say transform, rotate 90 degrees, and that one edit transform 90 clockwise. Okay, so I've now done that. Now, when you actually go back, now you can actually see the actual design. Obviously, that to the flip it actually turns as you do it, as it just goes across. And of course, if I play it, you can actually see them slowly but change. Now, of course, maybe if you decide you don't want those ones, you actually want to say use comp two in comp one, you can actually change those on the fly. You don't actually have to keep it all in place. So I'll stop at that point. I'll just quickly show you can do that as well. So stop. And now if you start to say decide that that it's going to be comp2 instead, it will be changed to comp2. And of course, not only that, it's still live, which is the key thing about the being linked and combined. You can actually go to this one here, and if you say, I don't want that one, I actually want to say blur, maybe a Gaussian blur, just quickly blur that bit, click OK, save it, key thing here, save, file save, and now go back to the there. And of course, if I actually got one that was actually that one, that was over there, comp four. Just go to layer comp four. Right, and there's the actual blurred one. Now that would be blurred all the way through. So if I actually go back to the start, you actually see it. It's blurred even there. Okay, 